I'm Kranti Sampo, you're watching Overdrive and this is the latest Mercedes-Benz E-Class Long Wheel Base. E-Class is one of the longest running badges in the industry, especially in the luxury car segment. That's quite an achievement and Mercedes-Benz has come up with lots of uh, new offerings, new changes in this car. And in this video, we're going to find out what are the changes in this uh, E-Class uh, Long Wheel Base, uh, how different is it uh, from the previous one and also the regular E-Class. Plus, all the new tech and gadgets in this car. Let's start. It is uh, Mercedes-Benz E-Class Long Wheel Base and uh, as the name suggests, Long Wheel Base means this is longer than the regular E-Class. Uh, the wheel base is around 133 mm more than the regular E-Class and overall length is 144 mm uh, more than the E-Class. So we are starting this video from the second row of this uh, car. Why? Because uh, uh, E-Class long wheelbase is supposed to be used by those customers, those owners who want to be driven in. They are not uh, big on uh, driving or most of the time it is all about comfort. So I have adjusted this seat according to my uh, riding position or driving position and now you can see the kind of uh, knee room you have, the leg space. Uh, it's fantastic. I mean, gives, I mean, almost mini S-Class kind of uh, space over here. It's very comfortable and uh, for long drives it's uh, really spacious but there are more elements which will make those long drives uh, even more comfortable for example this uh, uh, extension for your thigh support which is almost 40 mm extra so if i push this button yeah look at this thigh support which becomes uh, uh, much bigger and for long drives, I think this is going to be one uh, comfortable feature. Then you have a reclining feature as well. You can recline the backrest. Very good feature for long drives. And then you have this uh, dual zone climate control. Overall, uh, you have four zone climate control, but uh, uh, here you can see all the controls. Again, Ashwood finish with this unit. Lots of uh, brushed metallic highlights. Overall feels uh, very uh, premium. And uh, now if you look at uh, the seats and the kind of features we have, plus this comfortable uh, headrest, it has a very comfortable and premium feel to it. Then we come to this uh, door panel, which has four buttons, which helps you control the sun blinds, the covers, the windows, uh, the sunroof as well. So first thing first, okay. if I pull it twice, the sun blind is on, then you can control the rear sun blind as well with this button. And you can control the screens on this uh, sunroof. You can close it, open it using this button. And there's one button to control the window on the other side so that you don't have to lean. Obviously, this kind of car, this is the kind of segment, this is the kind of features you expect. Now, the armrest. Armrest has, uh, as I can see, this is a wireless charging uh, uh, pad. You can keep another phone over here. Then you have some space here for again phone and then you have two type C charging ports as well. So this is the story of uh, center armrest. Overall spacious, comfortable and for long drives this looks really, really good package for uh, those customers who are looking for a premium experience. So this is the real uh, difference between the regular E-Class and uh, the long wheelbase E-Class because this gets around 143 mm extra length and 133 mm extra wheelbase. Now the first row of this uh, E-Class long wheelbase and first thing first, look at this feature. This is a new edition a selfie and video camera. And uh, this basically tells you if Mercedes-Benz has introduced a selfie camera, then selfie culture is officially official. So anyway, this is also a utility feature because uh, this gives you the new third generation MBUX uh, features uh, include video conferencing and uh, this camera will help you with that. And while uh, driving also, you can attend all the calls. I know you must be thinking, is it going to be safe uh, if uh, while driving you were uh, doing video conferencing or uh, video calls? So what they've done while in drive mode, this video display will be disabled. So the participants on the other side, they can uh, access or they can see you, but uh, you can't see the visual display. So that will uh, uh, reduce the visual distraction in that case. And uh, one more feature which uh, really stands out, I guess, uh, is the ambient lighting, which uh, goes around the dashboard and it has uh, this uh, blind spot uh, indication as well. 
Now, if you uh, look at the screen, this is a 14.4-inch uh, screen. Then you have another screen, which is 12.3 uh, for the uh, co-driver or passenger. And then you have uh, lots of uh, controls. And as I mentioned, this uh, third-generation MBUX has lots of uh, new features, including uh, music streaming, a uh, couple of uh, embedded apps, and video conferencing uh, uh, feature as well. Now this uh, panel, which is finished in uh, this ashwood finish, is really nice. You have two C-type uh, charging ports plus a wireless charger. So one wireless charger uh, here and one on the second row of uh, this long wheelbase E-Class. Overall, uh, again, one old complaint which I have with most of the new cars, uh, lack of physical buttons because everything, most of the controls are on this screen only. Then you have some more space one more type c uh, charging port and uh, with this armrest overall this uh, steering setup uh, appears uh, familiar and one more feature which uh, was interesting uh, in the second row the driver also gets that and that is the thigh support extension so we just you know push this button and you can increase the uh, size of the seat this uh, new E-Class uh, gets uh, two engine options. One is uh, petrol, uh, which produces around 201 PS and uh, gets an increment of 23 PS with the help of ISG, integrated uh, starter generator. And the diesel engine option will produce around 194 uh, PS. A new LED high-performance headlamps, a star pattern avant-garde main grille, 18-inch five-spoke light alloy wheels, flush-fitting door handles, Maybach-style rear quarter glass, and 3D star design tail lamps. Well, these are the elements you would notice in the latest Mercedes-Benz E-Class long wheelbase. And one change you might not be able to notice uh, is that the long wheelbase version is even longer now by 14 mm, which includes 15 mm of extra wheelbase. So looking at the features and improvements in this E-Class uh, long wheelbase, uh, you can understand, we can understand why this badge is running for so long. The longevity of E-Class is uh, because Mercedes-Benz is always listening to the customers. They are always gauging the mood of the customers, what they need, what they require. And, and in this case as well, they have incorporated most of the changes and uh, it makes it a good package, this uh, long wheelbase E-Class. So how do you like this car and the kind of improvements or changes in uh, this one? So let us know in the comment section in case I've forgotten something or uh, you want to know more about uh, uh, some aspect, do let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.